of AP on the T1 side could potentially become an issue. Uh, we see 369 is playing grass. You know, I am expecting him to probably go more of that tank route. Kanavi, of course, knows now that he has been spotted. Yeah, owner immediately blastcones his way over there. Kanavi trying to fight back, but already owner is going to get the flash. He's into oh, the first oh, over oh. He comes around in first blood for Kanavi. Shelly to come down and try and get them first tower blood. Kanavi is here though and missing is on the roam, but Kanavi getting really chunked. Yeah, Cyclone's massive. He gets over the wall with the Warrior Tricks. A very cute little play there, but now 369 is left to the Wolves and he's underneath the turret. He's going to be taken down. Speaking of Wolves, he's going to gobble him up. Um, he can't because there's, uh, there's a tether range, but never mind. Uh, 369 here. Uh, possibly going to get dove again. There is the all out. Just delivers him to Ona. Oh. Fantastic cast, but there is another flash oh. for 369. It's not enough. Not showing on the map, so they have to know he's looking for some sort of flank angle. And again, that is YT1. Oh, that's a flash, Tim. It's massive oh. one combo. And immediately the Thresh is going to go down as well. Already got his Sunfire completed. It's pretty much purely physical damage on the T1 side. Well, Faker engaging he's onto dead. the Brom here, and immediately he is just dead. Showed him the door, as it were, as now owner is going to have to skip himself out of there. Tibbs. Is... So the backline can't actually add anything but either a Brom or Zayos. Another hook from Faker. Immediate cleanse from Ruler there, though. It's like he didn't get CC'd from that passive. But another one comes through. Carrier is going to land his own. They're just one-upping one another here. Zayas underneath the turret. He finds the Q under missing, and everyone's going to sail up. Oh. And now the match. Rage hook from Faker as they that... take down the turret, but it trades for Faker's life. Another hook's going to connect because, of course, all of them do. Have seen him get caught in situations like that many a time as the hook. hook. Yeah, going to connect. That is going to be a second to come through as well. Flayed back. Not a whole lot of damage, though, but Carry is still going to be able to take down 369. It's going to be a massive cyclone, but Lamb's respite is going to come through. Faker just flashes oh, barely onto the end, but now it's Ruler's turn to clean up, and he's getting incredibly low and the Abelio is going to get pulled in and taken down. JDG wanting to try and get an advantage in this fight as the Zap just barely. But didn't actually find Ruler so he was able to just continue with the oh, damage. Oh there it is. Here's the advantage. Oh, oh never mind. And he'll take the land to safety. And Hook is going to go just a little bit wide here by Carrier in the mid lane as Knight just throws a bear at him and that is a really dead thresh guys. I don't think there's going to be any way out for him. Teleport to come forward as well as JDG. 10 seconds on Ocean Soul. Zayas wrapping around but it's a four versus five missing. He's just walking towards him. Cyclone is going to land on to everyone as Kumushi gets knocked up. He tries to open. It's a double kill for Ruler. JDG could very well just close the game here if T1 misstep. See whether T1 have one team fight left in them. Another hook is going to connect there as they're underneath this inhibitor tower. But immediately, Ona is going to go down. He couldn't hold again. Faker is going to follow Kumushi's in amongst five people. And T1 are relegated to the fountain. That is going to be it, ladies and gentlemen. Game one, much like it did in 2022, is going to go to JDG in this one. And JDG, full control. It starts with first blood. Kanavi outplays owner, stays alive. But to me, it's about Knight and missing. The amount of control in the fights from this Brom combined with Knight's and Gages means that JDG <laughs> take a commanding game one. Cryo was going to be extremely hard. Look at Owner. He's, he's coming. So they, they want to try to position with four members bot to try to actually harass here and stop this. Faker is coming down. Yeah, they have full information. There is the grand entrance. The knockback's going to come through. The flashes to come out there. Owner's going to get stunned up with the power first bot. It's first blood going to Faker immediately answered by Knight here. Both mid laners walk out 1-0. and oh. It's just going to be a feather or two as now Knight is going to come on yeah. over to Faker here. These twin fangs just layering oh, on top of Faker. Knight is going to go down. Accelerated game potentially for both of these mid laners. Of course, Tristana does like to get to those spikes a little bit earlier as well as now. 369 does still have flash. He's going to use it right now. He's slowed down by all of these saplings. Bramble smash Kanabi. to push him back in. Kanabi's going to come up 50% health. Decent Q there. He's going to knock up one. Is now T1. They're desperate to try and find one of these. Permafrost is going to keep owner at bay, but Faker is moving in. Now, there's the immediate flash out as well. Double knock up from Zayas as they take the first one. And Faker is going to look to try and take down 369. He's knocked up though as Zayas tanked the tower for as long as he could. And Faker's going to get it. They lose control of their bot side jungle. And now it's four men bot here. Knight does have flash and he has ulti. He could look over the wall. Yeah, there it is. Not going to be able to get the snares. Good knock up to come through from Carrier there. But he's going to tank up the tower for as long as he needs to. And now Carrier, a sitting duck underneath this turret. The poison is going to connect. There's the permafrost, and Ruler gets hand-delivered. 
five members strong want to stop Shirley from getting towards this turret, but there are so many ultimates flying towards GDG. 369 can have to flash immediately to get himself out of the way. The turret is going to fall, but the stun is just massive. Low health bars absolutely everywhere as Kanavi's going to be the one to take down Owner in the end. And it's two kills for GDG. Kumushi trying to kite back and Faker has to rocket jump as well. Never really looked at it. His teleport is going to come forward. Okay, T1 going to look for some action here as Owner throws down the ultimate. Zayas going to do the same thing. Flashes forward to find the Ram Ruler. Still going to be alive though. He has the wild growth available and now he's going to start those shots. Zayas going to be able to get himself out of there as the flash from missing is going to get him to relative safety. As in goes Carrier, they knock up 369. Miasma going to try to be avoided. Faker. Faker, but immediately he's polymorphed and he's taken down. The knockups come through Knight. He's going Carrier. to be punished and now it's Kuma Yuki that rips them to shreds. It's a quadra kill and he gets denied by Owner on the bench. TP. Yeah, he can just come immediately towards this one, and I that's don't think there's going to be much of an option. JDG, four of them are up and available. Reset. Super Death Rocket is going to be blocked. That's Gumushi trying to get those autos oh, in. Baker. And they keep it alive. Faker is going to turn up, and there it is. <laughs> Game two goes to T1. JDG is Kanavi is just going back to base, so it will be T1 who is able to buck the trend. You know, they have the push on bot side. Yeah, Hook going to connect there as well. Flame Chompers to layer that CC. Polymorph going to come through as he flashes over the wall, but Gumushi falls. Follows him, gets the heal. Rocket not going to connect there. As now it's Kumiyushi oh. in trouble. It's just going to get eliminated as Knight turns up in the nick of time. Roller's going to get kidnapped. The Faker picks up the kill. And T1 answers one for one with a Drake on top for T1. Still looking for an option to come on in here as the Snip Snip comes down from Zayas. But in goes Kanavi. Faker is going to go all out on top of him though. As he's just fighting this 1v1 isolated. He steals it away. And the Kasante's dead as well. Knock up. Everywhere, 369 doing everything that he wants in this moment. And Zayas finds the kill in the end, looks to try and get out. I have no idea how he survived. He's trying to get some shellfish here in the river, but it is dangerous. Knight going to move in. The bear comes down. The Gwen just dashes out of the way, puts up the mist. But is it going to be enough as Zayas is going to get knocked up into the end? Not immune enough. And now Fake is going to come in, look to see what he can get done here as the flash forward. Hook is going to connect as well as Kanavi will be taken down in trade. There was multiple frontliners. This time, there's a lot more squishy members. So the five pen oh. passive. Oh. oh, missing. Not going to get hit by that one, but the ulti is going to be there. Nice. Super Mega Death Rocket is exactly that. And Gumiushi says, thank you so much. Gets a bit excited while he farms up these minions. On to Kanavi as they're just having a battle 1v1 in this Baron pit. 369 wanting to escape. There's the knockback from Fake. A double knockup to come forward. Though. Should be out of land, a couple of autos, gets the double kill. He might be in deep trouble. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. Speaking of deep trouble, this turret is in exactly GP. that. Is now Kanavi off to the side, possibly going to get caught Knight's out. Coming. Avoids the zap, but like you say, Knight is looming off to the backside. The dredge line not going to connect. He throws down the bear, but it's not exactly onto the priority target. And the flame chompers are going to catch him. Knight will fall to the super mega death rocket, but Tibbers will get very, very mad. Can Ruler find this team fight is the question, but he can't really get too many of these autos as Faker is dashing absolutely everywhere. Fights oh. the back with the Q and Gumiyushi will take down Kanavi. Kanavi. There is one kill there for missing, but Ruler sidestepping. Oh. He wants to, but it's going to be the shutdown, and Gumiyushi will find it in the team fight. Remember, there's no flash on Guma now, and Knight has his flash back. So, well, Hex Flash going to come forward. He finds Knight in the back line, gets the knock up onto Ruler, but Ruler is going to be safe for now. The Ram is going to come down. Kanavi gets into that back line as Gumiyushi oh. is just trying to kill him. He does manage to take him down, and it's a double for the Jinx. The Sap's going to make it a triple, and T1, they wipe them again. Just over, and it goes from team fight victory to destroy me? Nexus. Two games in a row. Faker is going to execute himself to the turret, but he's not needed for the Nexus damage. And once again, this time about 30 seconds earlier, it's team fight and done. Faker is clearly trying to shove mid. Kanavi's going to come through, and they're going to try to look for Faker. Well, Faker could be in a little bit of trouble here as he does have the passive, puts it down on a knight, but. Not going to have much more afterwards oh, level at up. level one as Faker is going to try and get over towards Ona. Into the brush they go as first blood goes tonight and 
Ona just needs to get over this wall. He's going to get stunned up, and it's a repeat of game number one. No, it's not. Ona gets himself out of there. Take down Owner. Get him down on Cam Soldo. Hold up. All right, here's that engage that we were talking about before as Ayla's Knight looks to try and answer one back on Ona, but not this time. And it's one to one. And even without the Devour available from Carrier, there was no opportunity. It's 369. Yeah, he is going to flash in. Doesn't manage to get the bail. Body slam onto both of them, but it's still going to be fine. The Jinx is taken down, and Carrier just going to vacate the area. This cast could be absolutely massive as the Drake is going down low. JDG biding their time. Kanavi gets himself in there. Huge ult to come through. And once again, they just eviscerate the Kindred. And Zayas is going to go down as well. It's a double for Kanavi. Is now Ruler taking matters into his own hands, but no. Just going to be going aggressive, but not going to be able to find the knockup onto missing. Ruler could be in trouble here as the Tongue Lash will connect. Zap going to come down as well. And Zayas is just barreling towards the turret. Ruler manages to flash to try and get out of the way, but it's not going to be enough. Kamuchi, he gets excited. Yeah, and it's actually Zayas thinking that he's unseen. Moves towards know. the back of this pit. 369 still not seen by them as Kanavi looks for it once again. This time, Lamps Respite very, very early. The Devour comes through as well as Gumayushi is kept alive with that huge shield as well. But Ona once again falls down. Massive damage with the Rocket. Guma gets excited yet again, but it's a huge bear that he has to deal with. And Carrier is now lumbering out. He's not going to be able to get that ruler. Chemtech Soul, not exactly the most high value, but a teleport is still going to come through. Could be another 5v5 hook. Connects onto Ruler, and they get into the back line immediately. The Abelios is taken down. How did they manage to find the angle? Missing's going to be taken down. It's a decent cast, but there is no follow-up damage anymore. And Kanavi, can he do it? Oh my god, JDG, what are they doing? How are they finding these moments? It's Gumiushi that falls down, and T1 are routed. And by the end of it, even though they get Ruler, it costs them everything. The turret is going to fall down, and now JDG with Tibbers in tow. Yeah, and if T1 are going to play as five, they've got to be so clean on their engage. They have to attack one side of the flank from JDG. Well, there's the flash. Oh! Tibbers comes down yet again, but this time he manages to get off the Lamb's Respite. The charm is fantastic, though. They take down the Rakan, but there goes the Kindred as well. Double kill for Knight is now Carrier trying to save Gumuji, and he does. Knight has teleport as well. And Kanavi, oh, he's going to fight Gumiushi. He's going to have to go into his stopwatch. And now Zayas finds an ultimate. But these Nexus turrets are going down. And the Jinx is as well. This game, ladies and gentlemen, I think is just over in this moment. We're not going to get another team fight because JDG will deny it. And they will bring us to game number five. It's Silver Scrapes again. This oh. is what we do here. We bring five games of League of Legends as JDG looking to grab a few kills here towards the Nexus. Ona and Faker just lurking on their fountain, watching as things go on. Ona is going to be able to get that ult off, but it's not going to matter because this Nexus, after they get a couple of kills, will go down and JDG stay alive in the series. Right on the edge of the cast there, as you can see, Zayas now dealing with a bunch of minions and 369, losing out on that trade as Faker engaged upon once again. Permafrost is fantastic, and Knight steals away an ult he doesn't even need to use for first blood. Where they got the team fight win, they go towards the Nexus. That was really close. Zoner's flashing the wall, they want this. Yeah, Nature's Grasp going to come through. The Flash has already come down, and in he goes with the Twisted Advance. Nowhere for 369 to go on this one. It could be in trouble. Nature's Grasp not going to find too much value, and now the re-engage is going to come forward. It's a Huge knockback on a Gamush who stays alive for so long. Not sure how that happened, but now it's Ruler that is just Zayas. free hitting. Zayas is massive in this fight. That's true. Faker somehow manages to curve the anchor. And it's a double kill now for Zayas, but oh. the re engage is gigantic. And with Ruler and his auto attacks, it's JDG that win the fight. Okay. Vision going to be available here as T1 look to move in. There's the hook. It's going to connect. They look to just take one out of the fight immediately. Moonlight Vigil is going to do that as Ruler standing in relative safety for now, but they're not getting too much back. It's a fantastic ulti from 369, but can they actually get anything? Another hook. He's going to come through, but 369 gets himself out. Faker in a bunch of trouble. Oh. Isaiah's trying to help him, and Ruler so is going to get excited. They managed to take down the Drake, and Ona, can you get over the wall? He doesn't have his flash available for now, and I think he's just dead. T1 going to have to give them the tree as Kanavi he can get into this pit at any time it's a 50 50 pretty truly as T1 are now looking to try and find the turn the hook is going to connect onto the jungler as now missing with the quickness Zayas. but he's just going to die Zayas diving Kuma. into that backline missing's going to go down and Kumayushi is just gigantic he goes golden and now Kanavi is no damage top of back it's another team fight the T1 win at 24 and a half minutes why does this keep happening 
T1 are just pushing through. They're gonna have to go back to the bear and they can't get Kanavi. Heavily, heavily forcing here. 369 in trouble. So much trouble as there's the depth charge. You got Polymorph not able to get himself out of the way. It's gonna be an inner turret alongside a Gragas. T1 grabbed that one. Knight is teleported in though. Gets a massive amount of knockups as the Glacial Prison comes down. Owner is just buying so much space though. <laughs> what is that blast cone? Knocks everyone around and Owner is gonna be taken out. Faker Ruler. finds the hook. Ruler is now able to free Whoa. him though. Oh, that's two autos on Aguma. And he's just out of there. Here at the Dragon. Should be a 50-50, but missing. He's gonna walk over that control orb. They know exactly where he is. Gets himself past. Soul is going to be denied here. But now Owner is in trouble. Down to 50% health. They dive on top of the Rakan. He's now trying to play safe, but it's Owner that falls down. Saints gets into the back line, though, as Kanavi is out of this fight. Knight has to go golden. And now it's just protect the ruler for JDG. T1 have four members here. Owner's respawning in five. Well, Hook is going to land here as Faker just says, we're going in. Moonlight Vigil is kind of massive, but Ruler's going to take down Faker. Zayas is huge, but he's dead. And it's a double kill for the Jinx. Zayas could be the difference maker, but JDG they could don't just run down the front door. OK, Zayas, can you make it happen? He's biding his time as now Ruler has to deal with him. Owner gets into the back line, but Ruler flashes. Oh, my god, he gets excited, and Gwen is not immune to that. is going to be here for T1. They're going to TP back in. They're basing. They're going to use double TPs here. JDG are pushing for the win here. At 35 minutes, I think they may have done it off the back of Ruler just keeping cool. He held the flash after the last team fight, and now they're going to break down the Nexus turrets, and JDG will be waiting to see whether they get a rematch in the final of MSI 2023. And as T1 falls to the lower bracket, JDG 